everyone welcome back to my channel and today i basically wanted to make a video on a very very requested topic that is my daily schedule so i'm gonna like break down this video into different parts and today i'm gonna talk about my daily schedule when i would not go to school and i would also not go to coaching that means like purely sit at home and self-study day like what would i do uh, when would i wake up when would i study and all of that right so um yeah let's begin before that if you're new to the channel my name is anusha varma and i scored 6 10 out of 720 in may 2025 with an all india rank of 790 and yeah let's get started so first is like when would I wake up right so I'm one of those people that used to study like a little bit late into the night so I used to wake up at around 9 30 ish right like a little before that sometimes a little later but yeah average would be around 9 30 that I would wake up and when I used to get up at 9 30 you know I wouldn't like waste any time by 9 45 max I would like start studying right so what I would do firstly when I woke up in the morning so you know when you wake up in the morning you're like really fresh right so what would I do I would basically just go and you know uh, you can see the whiteboard in my background so I would stand next to that whiteboard and I used to basically take my notes in my hand and I used to like read the notes and I, when I used to read them and I used to understand them, I would like basically like write down whatever I understood on that whiteboard. And basically I would do that for the whole chapter, right? So if I like, for like you know, let's just say this is, this is my notebook and like these are my notes. I'm just going to be holding my notes, reading them. Okay, I understood this point. Then I'm going to, you know, write down that same point on my whiteboard. And I used to speak and I used to write it down, right? So this would be like for the first one to two hours. And why I used to do that on the whiteboard is because I felt like writing and remembering also speaking while remembering was like good for memorizing and also because I didn't want to sit at my desk like right away in the morning and I wanted to like stand for some time just to compensate for the lack of physical activity and stuff so yeah that's why I used to stand on the whiteboard and I used to just write that how long I would do that I would do that for about um you know average would be around one and a half hours but some days I would do for two hours some days I would do for one hour right so like by around you know um let's say 11.45 or 12, I would be done with, you know, like notes revision stuff. So daily in the morning, I would just wake up and the first thing that I would do before anything is I would go and revise my notes in the morning, right? Because your memory and your like brain power is the strongest right now. Take it. And after that, what I would do, I would be really like, you know, tired and stuff. So then I would come and sit at my desk and I would watch lectures. Take it. I'm talking about the time when, you know, so I'm, it's, I'm not, uh, there has never been a point in my preparation that I did not watch lectures. When I used to like for syllabus completion, lectures were different. And then I used to watch like revision lectures that would just be helpful to like, you know, like very short duration lectures, but they help in like chapter revision easy, right? So throughout my preparation, I was watching like YT lectures and all that. So I used to watch the lectures and for that would also be up around two hours only. Two hours or like maybe more than that, I would watch my lectures and I would like, you know, have my breakfast or like drink milk at the same time while watching lectures. And while watching lectures, I would also make my notes, right? So this would be a time when I'm not going to coaching or I'm like, you know, not going to school or anything like that. I'm just sitting at home. Okay, so I would do that. I would like for two hours, I would just go ahead and, um, you know, learn my chapters, learn the new topics, whatever I had. And I would just make the notes. Okay. So by this time, it's around um, around 2, right? 2.30ish, uh, it would be over. And then what I would do, I would basically, uh, after like, you know, reading, after, you know, attending that lecture, then what I would do, I would open my module and see what topic I have learned today, right? I would like, go through the module, whichever topic I had learned, and I would see, okay, this is written in the module, some extra points, I would highlight it, and I would basically just read the module. And if not the module, then I would just probably go through the NCRT, but mostly I would go through the module only. Okay, so by now it would be around 3 or 3.30ish, right? Uh, mostly I would take it as 3, right? So it would be around 3 p.m. now and what I would do now is I would take a break. How long break? 30 minutes approximately I would take a break and then I would probably go take a bath or like, you know, anything that I have, you know, that I have to do, I would just go and do it or I would just, you know, chill, nothing else. I would take a break because my mind needs to rest, okay? Um, and yeah, I would, uh, after my break at around 3.30, I would start solving my module key questions, whichever top topic I had, you know, read from the module today and whatever topic I had covered in the lectures, I would go ahead and solve the questions from my module of, uh, of that topic or of that chapter generally. Okay, so that would take me like around say another one hour, right? And um, if I'm like having a difficulty in solving those questions, if it's like physics questions, that would take me a little bit longer. So it'd be like two hours, right? But if I'm doing chemistry questions and yeah, 
I forgot to mention that when I'm watching the lectures in the morning, I only used to watch physics or chemistry lectures. I never used to watch bio lectures in the morning. Always the physics or chemistry lectures I would watch in the morning. Okay, so I would either do my physics and yeah, chemistry key module. I would do the reading and then I would solve the questions of either physics or chemistry, whichever topic I had read that day. All right, and that would again take me like around one to two hours. Okay, and then um, if there is time left, so basically now I'm waiting for the clock to reach six or six thirty because six or six thirty is the time when I take a nap. Okay, so till six or six thirty, I would read the, do the module questions, do any extra MCQs that I can practice, any PYQs that I can practice. I would do all of that till six thirty max. Okay, and then at six thirty, I would take a nap for around thirty minutes. Okay, ideally it would be thirty minutes, but sometimes I used to not get up by the alarm, so it would become one hour, and then yeah. But it depends, okay? But I, average, it used to be around 30 minutes. I used to take a nap. And then I used to get up and what I would do is open my bio NCRT. Okay, and I would read my chapter, whichever I had previously read or I would like, you know, the new chapter which I'm currently reading, I would read that chapter. And that would again take me one hour because I used to, again, I used to like read it when I'm, uh, you know, speaking. So yeah, um, by the time I would finish my chapter, it would be around 8 p.m. Okay, and I would try to read the full chapter. If I'm if I'm not done with the full chapter that I'm currently doing, I would read the previous chapter, right? But the goal was to read one full chapter of bio, either either eleventh or twelfth. Okay, and um, yeah, so I would read the full chapter, and I used to speak while reading, and I also used to walk around my room while reading. So that would take a little bit time, and also I would get like, like get the um, verbal like hearing memory uh, of the chapter, right? And after reading my chapter from like around eight to nine, what I would do is I would watch a bio lecture, right? Any bio lecture, which, whichever chapter. I'm currently studying I would watch a bio lecture of that and at nine o'clock again I would take a break this break would be around one hour so I would have my dinner I would like you know um, anything I wanted to I would probably walk my dog and um, yeah from nine to ten I would take a break and then 10 what I would do is again I would start with MCQ practice this would again be around one one and a half hour right whichever um, you know that physics or chem chapter which I had done in the morning I would do those MCQs not bio MCQs and bio MCQs I would do later so this time by around like 11 11 30 I would be done with my MCQs also I would try to finish it by 11 11 30 how many of our MCQs like I would do try to do try to make a goal of around 150 to 200 MCQs per day all subjects including right not every particular every subject 150 all subjects okay so i would do that and then uh from around 11 30 to 12 30 i would do the notes revision once again uh whichever notes are like you know i had from previous chapters which i have already done like maybe one or two weeks ago i would take those notes and i would start revising them again you know just in case i have forgotten them and i need to revise them refresh my memory i would go through those notes again all right and by this time it's around 12 30 and then what i would do is bio mcqs Okay, so bio MCQs or again, I would take like um, about an hour and a half to do bio MCQs because I will do a lot of bio MCQs. And also, you know, like I would, if I, if I would get a question wrong, I would open my bio and see or TC where that question has come from, underline it, highlight it, you know, refer to my notes at the same time. So it would be a whole process and all of that. Okay. So I would take around one hour and by this time it's around 130 types. And then 130 to 2, uh, what I would do is basically if I have any pending work, uh, which I have, you know, not been not been able to complete throughout the day. Then I would probably um, do that pending work. Okay, and then and then at around two thirty three, I would go to sleep. And yeah, the day will start again tomorrow and you know, probably the same schedule or if I'm going to coaching, then it will be different. So for my coaching schedule, I'll tell you in another video, uh, I'll probably upload it next. And yeah, if you have any doubts, if you have any questions or any video recommendations, you can like definitely let me know in the comments and I'll read it and I'll try to help you. And I just wanted to keep this short and yeah. And also thank you so much for 7,000 subscribers. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and... Bye-bye.